Hey everyone, welcome back to Installation 00, and for those of you who love ODSTs, I'm sure what follows will please you to no end. After releasing a few videos speaking about the practicalities of ODST body armour and how plausible it is to create right now with modern technology, the conclusion that we reached together time and time again was that yes, ODST armour can be made almost exactly one to one from the games with modern technology, and as to the reason why it hasn't yet is beyond me. But I'm not one to wait around for someone else to do the work and figure this out, and I know you're not like that either. So, I've taken it upon myself and my team at the Materials Group to make ODST armour real, as close to lore accurate as possible, utilising modern technologies and materials to make it happen. Everything from the ODST's HUD systems, their polarising visors, the materials used, its vacuum seals, personal environment systems, sea burn rating, comms gear, even the visor mode and enhanced situational awareness systems are entirely possible with modern technology right now. So that's what we're going to do. With your help, we can make a suit that is aesthetically very similar to the ODST BDU while simultaneously exploring the technical capabilities of real life ODST armour, and reverse engineer the technology therein to make more refined, commercialised versions of similar or synonymous products. So let's touch base on where we are first, and then we'll get to the nitty gritty. Project ODST is now officially being announced and launched and I have a full brief proposal, budget and crowdfunder lined up to achieve it. All of these details will be touched upon in this video and given their own focus videos in due course. The budget for this project is a whisker over 100,000 and I have a full breakdown of the budget that will highlight in an upcoming video for those who'd like to see it. Thankfully, due to the work we've already undertaken with Project Mjolnir, many of the core systems of Project ODST have already been accomplished by myself and my team and just need to be refined, adjusted or recreated. The vast majority of this funding will go almost exclusively to materials costs and paying external works where necessary. Thanks to our sponsors, volunteers, help from local firms and my own personal access to 3D printer machines, tools and a fully equipped precision engineering workshop, all of the networking from our previous undertaking Project Mjolnir, we've been able to make some significant savings on the budget. If we reach the entire budget goal, this will allow us to surge ahead at a speed that we've thus far been unable to, and make ODST happen faster and more comprehensively than anything that we've done before, and to be able to rapidly reverse engineer the systems within the suit to be available to the public. Available to you. This includes the heads-up display systems, personal environment suits, personal protection equipment, passive exoskeleton support systems and much, much more. In return for your kind donation and support of this project, you'll be provided with a detailed reverse engineering design and guide on how to reproduce this kind of technology for your own purposes, be it for cosplay or otherwise, as well as being given news and significant discount codes for when the reverse engineered products finally hit the market. If we don't fully achieve the budget goal, the funds are still going to be directed directly into the development of the project, just at a notably slower pace. Your donation and support will serve to make this project happen at an accelerated rate and enable this testbed prototype to showcase the technologies we plan to reverse engineer to bring to various strategic markets. We've already managed to create a world first with the Mjolnir helmet, making the first titanium armoured fully functional Mjolnir helmet in existence with a full heads up display granted by the HoloLens 2, HEPA class 15 air filtration breathing systems, comm suite, internal climate control, external binaural auditory systems and enhanced situational awareness systems. We've already had great success building and testing the heating and cooling system for the personal environment control suit and the BDU is nearing final completion with integrated biosign sensors and integrated hardpoints, so it's not like we're new to this kind of endeavour. I've previously made several in-depth video studies on the practicalities of ODST armour and comparing it to modern technology and real-world systems, materials and equipment, links to which can be found below and I encourage you to go and watch. The punchline is that ODST armour can be built right now with modern technology and perform on par with what we see in the lore. Onwards from just the cool factor, the systems that we integrate and develop could enhance multiple facets of day-to-day -day life as well as special application projects up to and including vacuum operations, its obvious battle applications, but also as humble as increasing immersion and comfort for cosplayers or developing systems for mountaineering, expeditions to cold and hot climates, and wearable technology to integrate enhanced digital situational awareness and interaction to the average person on their day-to-day. -day. 
So again, with this technology already existing in one form or another, but simply having to be brought together and merged in such a way to sufficiently address the needs and expected parameters of the suit, this is very much an achievable goal. As far as risks, challenges and obstacles are concerned, there's not really much standing in our way. We've already made dramatic progress with the Mjolnir helmet, which shares many systems with ODST, and we've made good headway with Mjolnir's personal environment suit and the BDU, which again just needs some minor tweaks and changes in format to work with the ODST platform. Since the suit isn't actively powered, we don't need to worry too much about robotic systems, nor do we need to worry about the human-to-computer interface systems for the sakes of muscle-to-movement. Biosign sensors are already very much on the market, composites that can be ballistic or heat rated are already commonplace, and mechanical back pressure suits are well established technologies. Even ceramic up armour plates are pretty straightforward. Basically everything about ODST armour is doable with modern technology. Our only major limiting factor here is funding. And I'm confident that with your help that particular hurdle can be overcome. Either all at once, in which case we surge ahead, or gradually over time, in which case it's a more steady, drawn-out process. Obviously there are going to be issues along the way with design and iteration, but I have a team that has been assembled that have skill sets necessary to overcome these while eventually we plan to reverse engineer many of these systems to be marketed again. This process shouldn't be too cumbersome, as the Odyssey platform would somewhat serve the purpose as the testbed prototype for these systems. So if it works for Mjolnir, and it works for ODST, it will work as a standalone independent product. We've already acquired some sponsors for Mjolnir and have already begun cultivating strategic business relations with other entities and sponsors to enable the continued smooth progress of the project. My own personal access to 3D printers and machines for the sake of prototyping, the access to the precision engineering workshop already puts us at an advantage and our sponsors kindly continue to support the projects and our endeavors for anything that we can't achieve on our own. Between now and then, there are tons that we can showcase and deliver, and loads that we can reverse engineer and release to aid in your own projects, and demonstrate just what is possible when a community rally together to make things happen. We're already seeing a marked increase in the technical sophistication of cosplay armors, designed by the community as a direct consequence of the work that we undertook with Project Mjolnir. And to some degree, we have been the genesis point for numerous endeavors to create similar systems throughout the community. I personally now have seen at least three or four different types of Mjolnir helmets that have frames and internal systems close to the level of sophistication that our own Mjolnir helmet has. And I can't tell you how rewarding that's been to watch. So as far as I'm concerned, it's only right that we should also now move on and start doing the same thing with ODST armor and be the genesis point for numerous endeavors into the future. To help get Project ODST moving, we are opening up to you and have initiated an Indiegogo campaign that will run for just 60 days in total. We are launching this campaign and opening up to initial donations for just 14 days to get things moving while not expending the entirety of our allotted time. So while that means there will be several runs of fundraising via the crowdfunder, the sooner you get involved, the faster we can move, and the sooner you can secure your own list of benefits. I do however acknowledge that this kind of format isn't for everyone. In addition to the crowdfunder campaign, there is also the Materials Group Patreon, where you can support the continued development of both Project Mjolnir and Project ODST, all whilst scoring yourself some awesome merch along the way. I also completely understand that some people just can't donate to projects like this, and that's absolutely fine. Sharing the video around and getting the word out to more people is extremely helpful in drawing more attention and helping the project succeed, so ultimately, even if you can't donate, feel free to share this around, as it will help out more than you know. Project ODST is coming in hot, and there is nothing standing in our way to create real-life ODST armor. With your kind help and support, we can do something truly epic and bring more technology inspired by Halo to life in a very palpable way. This community has already given me so much on a personal and motivational level, and I have seen the best sides of this community in spades. The passion I see to help these kind of projects become a reality are rivaled only by my own passion and motivation to deliver them. Together, we're going to make a devastatingly effective team. Together, we can make ODSTs real. Thanks for watching. Stick your comments down below, and I look forward to what you have to say. And quick shout outs and thank yous to my patrons. Spartan10148, my devastatingly effective Metarch class Ancilla. 
Silver Spartan, Leon, Ram, Prophet Bear, and Irrefutable Justice, my ever vigilant monitors. The careful tending of Alvin, Andrew, Brian, Cameron, Darian, Devon, Phantom, Flaming Halo, Cabal, Legions Lost, Michael, Spartan0137, The Cave Potato, and Wolf Eclipse, my sub monitors. My growing fleet of Strato Sentinels. And my most loyal of enforcers and all my awesome sentinels, sentries, and constructors who have jumped aboard on Patreon to help support the channel. You have my debt of gratitude. And, as ever, Todd Morrison, my Tier Zero Transcentient YouTube member. Thanks for keeping my installation running on that glorious vacuum energy. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, as it all helps the channel grow and helps me to continue to deliver this kind of content for you guys. And if you're ready for your next steps in evolution, head over to Patreon and become a patron there, or become a YouTube member to attain a higher state of being. Much love to all of you, take it easy everyone, and find peace in the domain.